The premier said today borders are the big cause here. Let's just look in the biggest city in the country. Toronto Public Health says 0.6% of COVID-19 cases in the city have a confirmed link to travel since August um, of, of 2020. Again, what data does your government have that private planes or border issues are spreading the variants? But Evan, you, you said, I mean, let's look at the obvious. One person comes in, spreads a variant of concern to 19 people. Those 19 spreads are classified as community transmission. So let's get real. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to continue to hear misleading statistics here. Without question, there are border issues. And what we've said, you talked about certainty. Sure. It's hard to have certainty when we find out every day new statistics the latest this morning out on CBC and a number of news outlets was that we've got jet setters, private jets, luxury jets, landing, skirting quarantine requirements. We've got people... Miss, miss, sorry, Mr. Tini, sorry. I, I mean, you can talk over me all you want. You, you can't I, look, interrupt Toronto me. Toronto Public Health, I'm... Court, just a second. You, you, I, 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 you, just, you just trashed Toronto Public Health. They're saying 0.6% of COVID-19 cases in the city have a confirmed link to travel. Now, I believe me, I understand that they're spreading, but you know, I appreciate this. But, sir, borders are an issue, and I'm going to ask that with the, with the federal minister who's in charge so, of it. Evan, this is the but same Toronto Public here. Health the, that the said. The spread. Just a second. The spread of the virus. Your government was warned in February. If you opened up, there's going to be a third wave. Uh, Steiny Brown, the head of your science table, warned. Your government ignored it. M ICU doctors like Dr. Michael Warner say, uh, I'll read his tweet, more than 30 people I've seen die in, in, in ICU from COVID and 100 I've treated, none have returned from Canada on a private plane or any plane. Most got it from work or close contact or lack of access to timely vaccination. I, I mean, why point fingers just at the border? Is it a way to distract from your own government's response? Evan, that's not, you're, you're pitching this, and I, I dismiss the premise, you're pitching this as an either-or. I'm not suggesting that there aren't a ton of more things we can do, absolutely rapid contact tracing. You just cited Toronto Public Health. This is the same Toronto Public Health that say that when cases go over 1,000, it's hard to do rapid contact tracing and case management. My public health unit has said the same thing. When cases and ICU admissions get to a certain threshold, we can't really give you accurate data on where this right. transmission is occurring. Come on, Evan. And you know that, I know that. So that's why we joined Mayor Brown. That's why we joined my First Nations chief, my mayors, who've called on the federal government to fix these loopholes. And I'm not, again, saying this okay. is an either or. We know we have a lot to do. But when it comes to cab industries that have uh, surfaced overnight for people walking across the border, when it comes to jet setting, uh, luxury, people who are very affluent to be able but, to but, afford a private jet to come in, we need to address these loopholes. We've written four okay, letters. Okay, I just federal saw, okay. They haven't responded. But people aren't walking. I, I know people. Even when you walk across the border, there's testing, and I understand that that you're you're wanting hotel quarantine on that. But remember, it was just in December that the premier of Ontario was literally saying airports should ease quarantine restrictions. I'll quote him. He said, "We're working with the federal government right now, at Toronto Pearson, to reduce the downtime. Once you come back, you have to quarantine for 14 days. We want to knock that down. I'm really pushing for this." So. You know, you guys have been all over the map on, on, on the border thing. I, I, I just want to know, which is it? Four months ago, you wanted to ease the quarantine. Now you're blaming the federal government for ruining it. So which side is your government on on this one? So, Evan, I'll just have to correct you on that. Four months ago, what the premier said is he said, with PCR testing, with the accurate testing to... to, to definitively understand whether someone's carrying the virus or not. So it was Premier Ford that went to Pearson to bring rapid testing. It was Premier Ford that said, we're going to vaccinate right. temporary foreign workers so that you and I can continue to have food on our shelves. It was Premier Ford that said, we're going to vaccinate our, our Canada border a service agency, our CBSA agents. So how much more of the federal government's responsibility does Premier Ford have to do until they'll come to the table and just say, look, let's work together. Let's fix these loopholes. Evan, I'm just going to be very clear. It's not in isolation. It's not an either or. We have a number of things we're working on, expanding ICU right. capacity, bringing more healthcare professionals in. All we ask is for a partner to come to the table. Quebec's asked the same thing. Patrick Brown's right. asked the same thing. My mayors have asked the same thing. I think Bill Blair should give us that answer when he comes on your show.